Hello everyone and welcome to a new Way of the Hunter video. We are at the part 3 of our Let's Play series and today we are going to take another side mission from our emails and let's read this. So the email reads as Duck and Dine. Dear Mr. Willow, that was quite a catch you sent us last time. The liver of one of the ducks was so big it qualified as a fine meat for foie gras. It's a delicacy my grandmother made when I was a little kid and I had no idea how it was made. I remember how terrified I was when I saw the process of gavage. My granny was force feeding her poor geese so that she could fatten up their livers. After that foie gras never tasted the same. Until your last package. I did a little bit of research and it looks like this time of the year is ideal for duck livers in your area. The ducks have access to so many seeds that they gorge themselves and develop a fatty liver all on their own. Now I know it's extremely rare but I will be beyond grateful if you manage to catch more of these lovely pet ducks. Thank you in advance, Frank Duxbury, Duck and Dine ma Manager. Okay, let's accept the mission. So, I wonder if I can change my secondary gun now. Maybe I can try and get a semi-automatic just for a change. Let's buy this guy. And for gear, I might... Mm, now I wish I <laughs> bought duck collar instead of a secondary gun. Okay. Well, since we did this, there's nothing else to be done, so I guess we have to stick with it. Other than that, I have no money. Swamps so, north of Bandan yes. Ranch were always full of wild ducks. Okay, swamps north of... So up there we should go, right? Okay, we have to find once over 800 gra grams. So, 0 0.8 kilograms of three wild ducks. Okay, can do. It is around the swamps part. Swamps. So I am guessing swamps is up there. As it is highlighted here as well. So let's go that way. There are some American black bears right here. I spooked some of them. Okay. This is quite cool. Wow, the animations look so cool on them. Okay, I just noticed them while I was driving the car. Okay, I lost it, but that was so cool. Is that it? Yes, there it is. I don't have a proper gun, I'm sure. I don't have a proper gun, but that looks so cool. They are so fast as well. Okay. Let's try and find the swamps. I guess they are up there, really. So let's proceed with our journey with the car. There are some frogs even here. <laughs> I can hear them. There, there's a wild dog. Okay. Right there somewhere. 150 meters. Okay, let's try and find this. Wild duck. So we have some wild duck in this vicinity. So first thing I will try to do is of course try and hear if they are nearby. I can see one right there. Okay, let's slowly approach that. This is the swamp area our character has been talking about, I guess. Wow, they sound so cool. <laughs> I can't believe it, they're just so cool. And they're calm, and they're close, and I'm getting closer inch by inch. But I can't see them yet. There is a wild duck not so far away now. I am approaching this very carefully. Let's see how fast these wild ducks are. Uh, 
Gotta be very careful with these guys. I can see them because of these bushes. So... I'm just hoping I don't mess this up. So this is a wild duck resting zone. That's nice to know. And there are some right here, not so far away. Okay, I got one. I got one, that's for sure. Yeah, I low-key missed a lot of my shots, but I got one. And there it is. It's, uh, please tell me it was over 800 grams. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. We got one. So I need... Oh, okay, I got one more. And it was, again, eight, uh, 900 grams. That's nice. And there's another one. Okay, I have plenty. And this guy was... <coughs> this guy wasn't... This doesn't cut it. Unfortunately, this was a really small one. I can see ducks flying in the air, though. If they can land somewhere close by, maybe I can... No, they are so far away, they went away. But there's one more wild duck right there. There's a wild duck male right in front of me somewhere there. I can't see it yet, but I'm sure I will in a second now, any second. There they are somewhere. I'm really close now. There it is, there it is. I can hear them quacking, so I must be really close now. There they are somewhere. There they are. I got two. I got two. I think that one of them will be enough, right? I think at least one of them will be enough. Let's see. One. This guy was 600 grams. Sad. This guy was 970 grams. Okay, this is great. And this is a success. Okay, this was cool. This was cool. Okay, I felt that. I felt that. Okay. I can just as well go up there to investigate what that house marker is. So let's first get back to our vehicle. Then I think I will go to that house. Maybe it's one of the landowners. Uh, house, I don't know. I really have no idea what those might be. There are some rose blues as well. I can shoot one, maybe. Okay, rifle is not the best way to shoot rose blues, that's for sure. Uh, we learned that. As if we didn't know it earlier on. <laughs> Okay, there is our car. There is our car. That was a cool hunt, I will say that. I really felt that. I really felt like it was a challenge to get near those ducks. The sounds, everything was just spot on. I will say that. Okay, so there is a permission to hunt in this area. So I am... Okay, I am guessing I am... In a... 
new landowner's zone. So I need a permission to hunt in this area. Okay, so that's what those boundaries are for. I just want to see if I can meet with the landowner here. I really wonder if that's possible. And there seems to be a mission here, actually. Maybe I can meet with the guy. Let's see, let's see. Okay, I really wonder what this is all about. No, okay. So this is cabin. This is a new landowner's cabin. Okay, what is this? Hi there. I've been trying to say, stay anonymously here, but journalists always manage to find me. So I guess there's no need to pretend to be Horace Adams. Maybe using my most famous pen name wasn't the best strategy anyway. People call me a brilliant writer, but the dumbest man practically. I guess I live more in my stories than in real life. That's always the main point in any article about me. That I don't have an Android phone. They try to romanticize me as some sort of mysterious person because of it. But it's not about trying to escape the modern world. I just don't know how to use one. <laughs> I am happy to know how my wheelchair works and that's all. Yes, I have a wheelchair and no, you don't need to pity me. I did enough of that myself a decade ago. I used to hunt a lot, but not since the accident. I am happy to just get lost in my stories now. They are more alive than some people in my life. And they never disappoint me. Only my readers, sometimes. I am switching to fantasy novels. I always felt the itch to do so. I've come here to get inspiration. I already have an idea about the main character. A blind huntress, Naji, who can talk to animals and is cursed to lose a bone in her body for every week she doesn't bring a sacrifice. I wanted to take place in these swamps. I grew up here back when, back when I could walk, but now it's not the most accessible for my wheelchair. I would like you to do some old jobs for me. I want you to spend some time in the swamps without leaving and to leave uh, without leaving and to think like Najee would. What are the most prominent feelings in the place? Try to spot as animals as you can. Thank you very much, Matthias Ruiz. Okay, this is quite cool. So we have to discover all animal species living in the swamp habitat through their static science. Okay. I can do that. Also, we can gain access also by doing jobs rather than paying for it. This is quite cool. I am really liking the atmosphere here. But first things first, I want to go and do deer management mission. Harvest five mule deer's bucks with fitness less than 40%, either adult or mature. The Deer Association wants to improve the quality of antlers produced on this land in the future, so wants to remove deer with low fitness and higher age. To know how exactly to differentiate adult and mature deer is it's always good to refresh your memory in the encyclopedia. So let's go to encyclopedia and go to a deer, mule deer. So adults are four to six years old, 91 to 140 kilograms. And did they state male or female? I am not sure. No, only adult and mature. So what I need to do is find animals within these two brackets. Okay, I can do that, I guess. And this is the trophy ranges. Okay. So let's return back to where? So this whole area is good for mule deer hunting. Okay, I will return back to my bear than range. And from here on... Let's get back to our storage. What's that, first of all? Okay, so another job here is that we had some calls regarding suspicious noises in the area from 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. with coordinates I am sending in this attachment. Can someone please check that area ASAP? Thanks. So, Nicole Steel Wilderness Ma Management Jr. sent us this mission. I think this could be quite interesting, so I will take this mission as well. And I think I will follow this guy. So, suspicious activity. Let's follow this one. And we are going to go there. But first we must sleep. Let's sleep until it is 3 to 6 or... Let me check it again. 1 to 3, okay. 1 to 3, then... I guess 154 is okay. Let's sleep until then. And ready up our flashlights. Let's go. Oh, it is dark. It is truly dark now. It looks gorgeous as well. I might, I must have to say that this looks, this just looks gorgeous. Okay, this is how our flashlight looks like. I have my rifle just in case. 
And let's see what this whole suspicious activity is all about. I am quite liking the night, uh, nighttime sounds as well, sound design. This just sounds so cool. Okay, there's a help call right now. Okay, this is quite interesting. Where did they come from? I'm not sure. I think I can see something over there, yeah. Let's grab our shotgun just in case. What the? What is even happening over there? Somebody's screaming with a diaphone. I'm nearly there like a ghost. Okay, I unlock the perk. I will check that later on. What is this? What does it feel like, brother? Is this some kind oh, of okay. who, who the hell are you? Hello? Uh, you don't sound like Noah. Noah? <laughs> who am I talking to? Uh, this is pointless. It's April. April Whaley. Are you, are you kidding me? Um, no. Why would I? It's, it's River. River Knox. Oh my god, you're the last person I would have expected to answer this call. You gotta explain to me. What, what are you doing? It's kind of hard to explain. Yeah, it's hard to explain recordings of screaming kids. I was trying to contact Noah. Um, makes sense. It does? No. Can't you just call him like a normal sibling? Believe me, I tried. He ignores me, so I'm getting a bit desperate here. I wanted to make him feel guilty. Get some sort of reaction. Guilty? At this time of night? <laughs> Why, what's happening? I... Uh, it's hard to talk about. Can I help you? No. Yes? Uh, maybe. I I'll call you tomorrow. It's late. Uh, okay. It's nice to hear your voice again. Okay, that was... That was a cool story mission. So this was April. And let's see. Ludovic Vilkov. Forgotten books. So we have two more missions here and another other mission here. Canceling partnership. Mr. Willow, we are sorry to hear that we need to part ways. We valued our exclusive partnership for the delivery of Wild Game every month, but we cannot continue using Wild Game in our meals due to the rumors about the disease in the area, which is transferable to humans. It's been wonderful working with your and with you and we are set and we are set part ways under these circumstances. I'm sure a businessman of your stature understands. Okay, this is quite sad. And Ludovic Vilkov, Forgotten Book. Forgotten Book states... Hello River, I've heard you, uh, from your grandfather that you are back and using this email account. It's not the best moment considering the circumstances, but I'm glad you are here nonetheless. The old man had borrowed my book about fishing half a year ago and he still hasn't managed to bring it back. Would you be so kind and bring it back to my cottage? Else I may never see it again. He dies and you live again. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. Yeah, I can tell. Thank you very much. Gerald Small. Hello, River. I know this is your grandfather's email account, but he told me you are using it for the timing. Do you remember me? You once took my boat. Why I, why? I think it was Bailey's kids. So Bailey's kids, April and Noah. These were our friends when we were young, and this was April was the one who made the, uh, a prank on Noah. And you made a trip back at a trip at the Enos Lake at night. Your grandfather was very sick, and then you came drenched, and he squeezed all the water from your clothes as he hugged you. I have a favor to ask you. My daughter is getting married this month. She and her fiance fell in love in this forest and would like to have their first dish as new vets to be reminiscent of this place. I've heard about the weird blood decay syndrome disease in this area. Okay. But they specifically want to meet from uh, want to meet from here. I believe it's hoax like your grandfather says. The dish is something fancy called venison heart as cabbage. People these days. <laughs> I'm surprised it isn't uh, stuffed with avocado. But don't worry about it. You only need to know that we need to we need two white-tailed deer hearts, one male and one female. So avoid damaging the heart so that the meat can stay intact. Thank you very much for the help and welcome to the valley. Okay, we have these two missions. I will do, but I wonder what will happen if I just stay up until the, uh, noon. Will April contact us? I'm not sure. Do we have any other missions around? I don't think so. You have deer management task. Okay. So I think I will pick either one of these two missions next time around. Or the one I have here. Impression or deer management. But for now, 
we will call it a day i thank you for watching and if you like the video please do like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next part